This is the Earl Mud commit video comment for commit 4FF59B65 for Foxtrot Foxtrot 59 Bravo 65. So we got Saturday, September 26, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Wow. Clean up. I'm going to keep the extra logging in the mock object in the test object. For, what? I'm going to keep the extra logging in the mock object in the test object for now. I'll probably run into issues with it again where it doesn't act like a regular Irma gen server object. No idea what I'm even talking about there. So what am I taking out? I'm taking a bunch of logs out of Irma character. I'm going to keep those in the mock object in the test. What am I even talking about? Log I'm taking out some logging out of out of Earl Mud character. Well, that's probably because I've moved all my logging to Earl Mud object. And then here, I'm taking out some logging out of where I'm getting properties. I'm not grabbing, doing logging when somebody grabs properties anymore. And I'm not bothering to log sends. When I'm not sending an attempt. I'm not sleeping anymore. And in the test suite, I'm not logging the properties and not stopping the test object. I don't know why I'm not stopping the test object anymore. I'm not sending it a stop. And I'm not getting the, I'm not bothering to log all this stuff when I go get it properties. I'm not logging what the player is. So I'm not doing a lot of um, logging. Um, I'm not tracing anymore. Earl Mud event log. Earl Mud debug is my wrapper around the tracing stuff. I should probably switch to recon uh, by, um, Fred, I can't remember what his last name is, but he does that um, learn use of Erlang, uh, Hebert or something. And let's see, CT pal object receiving, and I'm taking. Oh, I'm just cleaning this up. Okay, so what I added was um, I had added this uh, when I go to receive. I actually output what I received and then I go into the case statement and I had added that and it was useful so then I just formatted it um, to keep make that a little more permanent so I really enjoy seeing uh, what I received in the test object and this test object this mock object I switched back and forth from test I think you can see test object here I changed to mock object um, this is an object that I create in the test to act like uh, a regular mud object and since mud objects have to receive um, gen server calls to get their properties. That's how Earl Mud object works. It, um, it, uh, everything that uh, implements the Earl Mud object behavior, uh, or no, sorry, the Earl Mud object itself. Let's just, let's just go there. Uh, let's see, Earl Mud object. So Earl Mud object has the ability to, it handles the properties for, um, any mud object. So whether you're a door or a character, they all have properties and Earl mud is what handles those properties. So if you can see, let's just, oh, right there. Uh, down at, uh, that's the easy motion macro. You do uh, leader, leader. I have my leader set to comma. Leader, leader, J will we'll put a letter before each line. And so you can pick which line you want to jump to. Easy motion, excellent plugin. So props. So if you call props on Earl Mud object with a PID, it will check and see that PID is alive, and then it will do gen server call on that PID. So this is a module function, not a process function. So you call it for the Earl Mud object module, and then it will find an Earl Mud object process and call props on that. And then if you can see handle call props right here. Oh, whoops. Uh, uh, what did I? I did. Um, I want. I want visual mode, which is V, and then down, down. There we go. Highlight. I did. Uh, I did capital or control V, which is visual block mode. I didn't want that. So handle call. If you send it the props message, it will reply with the props from the state. So that's all. All one of the things Earl Mud object does is just is just keep track of the properties in the state um, for that object. So then you don't need to worry about that in your. Um, in your behavior implementation, say like, uh, let's see, like Earl Mud character. Uh, no, it's just like, uh, what's a good one? Exit. So Earl Mud exit, uh, whenever it gets called, so like an attempt, it'll we'll just pass it the props. So it doesn't need to worry about it. It's like how Earl Mud object handles state for you. So every time you do a handle call or handle cast, you'll get the current state. Well, Earl Mud 
object handles your props as part of its state. So every time you get an attempt or a succeed or whatever, or a fail called, it'll pass you those properties. Now, where was I? Okay, and that was it. That was all that I had done in that commit. So that is the commit video comment for Earl Mud commit for FF59B65 for Foxtrot Foxtrot 59 Bravo 65.